Hi guys, so today I thought we would try out Daily Charm. A while back, someone had told me about their subscription boxes, and so when I went to go take a look, their subscription boxes were sold out. So I just got a bunch of really cool stuff from the site, some things I've never seen before, some fun Halloween stuff, and you know, just a couple things here and there. I keep getting my hair stuck to my gloss. Anyway, I try not to have my intros be too long, but I just wanted to apologize really quick for not, you know, going in with a bang for the Halloween content. I, of course, got pretty sick this first week of October and I'm still a little sick. I might lose my voice during this, but I'm gonna try not to. So I am a bit behind with everything right now and I'm hoping I'm gonna catch up, but we will see. Of course, always get sick at the worst time. But enough rambling, let's get into what I got and what we're gonna use to do some nails today. I've got a dark background. You guys will have to let me know what you think of it. Don't usually do bark, bark? I don't usually do dark backgrounds, but I felt like it would be a good change for Halloween, you know, the little spooky. So many goodies. Okay, let's just pull things out one by one. So first off, I got some silicone mats, just, you know, for nail art and stuff like that. These are always useful. Next up, some stickers. These stickers are so cool. They're just like one long strip and so you can customize them however long you need, which I absolutely love because I feel like anytime I have like long stickers, they're still usually not long enough to do the entire length of my nail, but these ones are. So that's super cool. I love these. I'm like super into the um, like wavy thing if you can't tell. <laughs> Some blood drip stencils, which is pretty cool. Probably wanna use these today. Some more of the long stickers, but these ones are hollow. Some different widths in this, get that. So it actually caught my eye the most on their site were these full cover tips. They are black and white, which I can't say I have ever seen a black full cover tip. These are obviously gonna be sheer so they can still cure underneath, but you know, always I see, you know, nudes and pinks, but I've never seen black like or white ones, which I thought was super cool. They did only have, I believe like medium was the longest in these, but I decided to get them anyway because I just thought they were super cool. Here they are, they are sheer. Like you definitely can see through them. I would be a little skeptical that everything can cure like 100% of the way through, but I guess we will see about that. Regardless, I just thought that was super cool. Now for the thing that I was actually most excited about because I have never seen this anywhere else, lipstick, full cover tips, how cool is that? Again, I think the longest length for this was medium, but I've never seen the lipstick shape for this in a full cover tip before. I know that you can always just like chop it off to the side, but I still thought it was really cool that it was just ones that were already done. And you get ones that are on the right and the left, so they, you know, like cut off each way, which it's a good touch. Like, how cool is that? I don't think I've worn a full hand of lipstick nails. I don't think ever. So I might use the black ones today, but I also might use these. I don't know, I'm gonna have a hard time deciding. These are so cool. And you get a ton of them. They had a lot of really cool and really pretty, I would say more like stationary supplies. Stationary is probably not the right word. Utility, like this nail stand. How pretty is that? That is so pretty. I love all the rhinestones and I feel like, you guys know sometimes I do decorate the nails before I put them on and I use a stand. And now we'll have a really, really pretty one to look at. Hopefully the magnet is strong on this one. It looks pretty decent. Sometimes they just have like a little magnetic strip on them. But I'm super excited about this because I've been wanting to do more TikTok videos of just like one-off designs that I have in my head that I really wanna do and this will be perfect. And then I got some rhinestone gel, I believe. Two in one seal it up gel pen. I believe this is for like around gems and stuff. It's been a little while since I ordered this. And of course I ordered all of this because they didn't have their like subscription box available. You have to pre-order for the season pretty far in advance too. So I was definitely not prepared for that. And literally like three days later after I placed my order, the subscription box for Christmas, I think popped up, but I had already ordered this. Then I got some gel art paint. I always need more black and white, especially like super pigmented ones. And I'm getting a little tired of having to pour some out of the bottle every single time. So hopefully these are super pigmented and really good. And then again, just sort of like a utility thing, a, a little palette, but I thought that was gonna be really useful for me because you guys know I like to mix colors too. So I have 
you know, nicely separated. Super excited. I'll take this one out of the bag so you can see a lot better. This is a brush holder. So when you're doing your nails and you know, doing nail art and you have a couple different brushes, you can just like set it down. It has these little slots for it. I think it's gonna be super useful because my desk isn't exactly even. So sometimes I sit down my brush and it just like rolls right off. So super excited about this also. I was a little panicked because sometimes ordering me and filming me don't quite agree on how much we should get. Ordering me is like, don't spend more money on nail supplies. And then filming me is like, you should have gotten more stuff so that we could make better nails for this video. So I was a little panicked because this box is about empty except this little thing here. But I think I got a good amount of like little itty bitty nail art things. First off, this foil that I thought was really cool. It just, I don't know, looked really cool. It looked really realistic. So I just had to get it. They had a lot like this, different variations, but I just thought this one was the prettiest because it was pink. And then I got a <clears throat> Savorsky crystal bundle. I believe that I got a couple little small mystery crystal bundles. I think this is it, but I feel like that's a pretty good mix. Lots of different shapes and colors, sizes. I don't think it was that expensive either. And how cute are these little mushrooms? Aren't they so pretty? I can already tell these are ones that I'm going to want to clip off after I'm done with them and save them for use again. So they're just so pretty, especially, I don't know if you guys can tell, but they're almost like have an oil slick sort of sheen to them. Then they had some of the cutest Halloween stuff. Like look at all these little ones, these little ghosts and the little webs, so cute. The ghosts, my favorite so far. And then these little pieces of paper, actually not glitter. I guess I'd call this confetti. I'm gonna call it confetti. This like paper confetti, which can be a lot easier to work with than glitter since these will mold a lot easier. Super cute. Apparently I got two of them. That one's cool too. I like the uh, pumpkin ghost. And I believe this was another like little mystery charm bundle. So that's what I got in there. All just like little, you know, like metal charms. Flipped them around a little bit and there's some cool ones in here. Last but not least, you guys are not ready. Googly eyes. Oh my gosh. These are so tiny. Right now I'm regretting not getting like three more packs so we can just do an entire handful of these. But look at that. That is so fun. And that is everything that I got. I am super excited to finally do a Halloween set and have some nails on my fingers. And while absolutely still crusty dusty as usual, my nails have been recovering pretty good. I've been working on it a lot. So there's not actually much more lifting, which I'm so thankful about. So yeah, today no peel off base coat or anything. These are nails are gonna stick on for at least a little bit, but I need to kind of figure out what I wanna do. Okay, I could not decide between the black and white nails and the lipstick shaped ones. So I'm probably gonna end up doing two sets. One's definitely gonna be a lot simpler, but I just have to. So I'm going to start off with these black and white full cover tips. I do have to say that the sizes are a bit small. This one right here is a zero on my thumb. And I would say usually I'm like a two, maybe three if they run a little bit big. That's at least for the biggest size, for the smallest size. It is actually a little bit too big for my smallest nail, so whatever. So I'm just going to prep everything up a little bit. Just some really light filing to prep, and now I'm wiping them off. Do you guys see? I have a little bit of natural length. Isn't that crazy? Except this one, but I'm working on it. And I don't think I'm actually gonna cut it off this time. Then I'm gonna use some of my Young Nails primer. And then I'm just going to do a regular clear base coat, not a colored one. I know I do sometimes, but I feel like we'll just do clear today since these are already sort of like the color we're gonna be doing. And I'm gonna just do a thin base coat and cure. I did already just file the tips to my cuticle shape and I'm just going to go in with some Gel X prep for these. While I'm filing these nails, I do notice they are pretty thin. So I think the opacity will be okay. Is there a reason that no one's ever done black full cover tips before? I don't know, we'll find out. And for my gel to actually adhere, I'm gonna use my Kira Sky Builder. I've been liking this one because it is a lot thicker, but it's still in like a little brush form. So it's been very convenient. I feel like I can't even see the gel through it. Hmm. I can like hardly see through it even, even up to the light. Okay, I'm gonna cure it now in my full lamp for 60 seconds just to make sure. And this is a 48 watt lamp, I think. So hopefully it just cures all the way through and we're good. After lots of investigating, AKA just wiggling the nail around and looking it up at the light, I think it's cured all the way through. So now for the other nails, we'll just pop all these on, you know, kind of quick. 
It is just kind of hard to tell on your nail though when you're actually like putting it on, like if it's squeezing out on the underside. White, probably be a little bit better on that. There are all the nails on. I do have a little bit of an air bubble in one, oops, but I'm just gonna leave that. And I figured we would start with something really fun and I'll take one for the team and then do something I know we all want me to do. Full hand of googly eyes. That's creepy enough, right? Use my handy little palette here. I was a little worried that I wouldn't have enough to cover a full nail, but I definitely think we're good. So I think I'm gonna just do the ring finger. I'm opening up the gel pen and it looks like some of it did leak. I did manage to clean it up though. So I'm just going to brush this out. I do like this like little itty bitty skinny brush. And let's get these eyeballs on. I think I'm just gonna start at the back and work my way forward. I really regret not buying like five bags of these. I feel like they could come in handy too for like any design, but all I can picture right now is just all these like really great designs that I see on Instagram, you know, like portrait hand-drawn nail art just with some googly eyes slapped on. I think that'd be really funny. That is the absolute best that I can do with just like the size they are. It's kind of like awkward. They don't just fit perfectly and it's not like I can like cut these up. So how do we feel about it? What feelings does this bring you? I'm gonna cure it and then we can wiggle it around. Now that we've done that, let's move on. Hmm, I'm trying to decide what to do. I feel like it's gonna be kind of random, but it's fine because it'll just be in general like Halloween themed, right? Wonder how well we can get these little papers to stay. Once again, I'm gonna use a little bit of like that little charm gel and look it. How cute that little Grim Reaper is. Isn't that so cute? I wonder how well we can get it to like smush down. I feel like fairly well. I'll probably put like a little piece of plastic over so that we can really like smush it. You know, I honestly can't say I've ever seen a pumpkin ghost like that. I don't know if I like it. Very interesting. Okay, there we go for that one. Got my plastic wrap. So now I'm just going to smush this down as tight as possible. When you do this method, they kind of tend to want to like smush off to the sides. You can move them and then kind of like smooth them out again, but it's kind of like a, you know, a little game with it pretty much. There we go. That looks good enough to me. Now I'm gonna cure that. Let's unwrap. Not too bad. I did get a little bit of an air bubble, so we'll have to see with a top coat if that kind of like fills it in and disguises it. Does it? No. Mm -hmm. It still looks okay though. Especially if you were just doing like one of these papers or something like that, it'd be a lot easier. Or one at a time. Now I want to use the art gels and the dripping stencils. These are so cool. Okay, so for this, I guess we just like, I feel like that's pretty good. Then of course for this, we'll do the white. So that would be no point with the black. This stuff is super thick. Oh, look how opaque that is. That looks really good. I haven't really used many stencils before, so I'm not super familiar with how to do this exactly. I think we're supposed to take this off though before we cure it. Okay, I feel like that looks good, but it doesn't really look super smooth. Okay, I think I'm gonna try to go over with a little bit of a bigger brush to just kind of like smooth it out a little bit. This stuff is super thick though. There we go, that looks a little bit better. Like I said, I'm pretty sure we take it off before we cure it, so I'm just gonna take it off. I think we should completely redo that one. <laughs> this time, I think I'm gonna cut this part off just to make it easier on myself because I think it being too big for my nail was not helping the situation. And I'm gonna make sure it's really smushed on there. And I'm just going to take my bigger brush because I feel like that was a lot more even. Okay, I have more hope for this one. Looks a lot better, a lot more even. Let's see how it goes. Hmm. Why was that one so much cleaner? It looks okay. I feel like there's a, I don't wanna say technique. I feel like just like a little more experience with it would make it a little bit better. I think with just like how to take off the stencil or whatever. It looks okay though. I'm gonna cure it. And I'm gonna do the same stencil to this side because why not? I think that this one might have lifted up a little bit. We'll see. Yeah, definitely gonna need some cleaning up. So the thumb actually turned out a lot better. I feel like I was getting the hang of the stencil. For the majority of the nails, I'm just going to top coat everything and call it good because we are going to use the charms and stuff like that on the next set. 
And I like how the drips kind of just like looks by themselves. So we're just gonna top coat all of these drips and then I'm gonna add just a couple more eyeballs. Hopefully this top coat will kind of make everything like mesh together a little bit better. A little bit. And cure. I feel like the last thing missing from the set is just something right here. So I think I'm just going to put eyeballs against the cuticle like we would with rhinestones normally. I think that's like kind of funny. So I'm just gonna put that little bit here. And here we are. So let's move on to the next set. The next set's gonna be a little bit simpler as if this isn't pretty simple for Halloween nails, but I figured that I'm going to leave a lot of the extraness to you guys for Draw My Nails Halloween edition, which I will be posting the template for it the day I posted this video. So check my community tab if you want to participate in that, but let's move on. Now we've finished one set, let's get on to the lipstick nails. I've gone with the slant going to the right, just because that's what feels right to me. I don't know if there's like a technical method for which way the slant should go, but that's just what feels right. But we're just gonna do this really quickly because we've seen me do this a million times now. And here are the lipstick shape. I don't know how I feel about it. I kind of like it and I kind of don't. What do you guys think? For this set, I'm going to do a little bit more of like a cute spooky. So we're gonna do a lavender shade instead of like a bright purple or anything like that. This is definitely going to need that second coat. I do also, of course, wish that these were longer. These are super short to me. Feels very strange to have nails on, but have them be this short. Alrighty, color all on. Now, before we actually put anything on top of them, I'm going to do a top coat, just that way I don't make fingerprints or, you know, whatever in it. Dust, dog hair. Now I'm dying to use some of these just like long sticker strips. So I figured since the whole thing with these is like the lipstick shape that we could put these across the top. And I think that would look kind of cool. So I think I'm going to go with the thicker one for today. Do you guys ever feel like you never have a single original thought? Because I was telling David, I swear like a month or two ago before I ordered and saw this, I was like, I should make some stickers that go across the whole page and then you can just like cut out what you need of it. And I thought that was so smart. Turns out many people have already thought of it. So we just need a tiny bit for each one. So I think I'm just going to cut this edge. How much do I need? That's good. That's probably good. That's probably good. Perfect. Now if we can get each one off flawlessly. So I top coated it also because I'm going to file off any edges that are like sticking off after I trim them, of course, but just that way. So it's like really wrapped on kind of, and I didn't want to file like too much into the color or make it look weird or anything like that. But how does that look? I think that looks pretty cool actually. I feel like very appropriate for the shape. So although I'm definitely uh, not killing it with Halloween videos this year, I have had my house decorated since like early September, maybe late August. And I actually decorated my Jeep this year to be a Halloween Jeep. I will show you guys it at the end of the video. And I've been carrying around Halloween ducks, of course. If you don't have a Jeep, you might not know what that means, but people with Jeeps like duck each other and you just basically give other Jeeps rubber ducks. So if you ever see a Jeep with a bunch of ducks, basically you just like give each other ducks. So I carry around Halloween ducks right now that glow in the dark, pretty cool. So as an added bonus also, I carry around these like Pokemon booster packs also for people that have Pokemon stickers on their car. So now that I have that like little hollow strip on it, I love these. I was unsure, I think just in general, the shape, not quite sure how I feel about it, just like plain, but when it's like accented like this, I love it. These are cute as is. I would love, sorry, I keep looking at this. I'm looking at my monitor because that's, I can see it way better. I would love a full long set like this. Would that be so pretty? Anyway, let's add the little Halloween flair to it. I really want to use these ghost charms, maybe the spider webs. I think I wanna use the ghost charms cause they glow in the dark also. So with the gel pen, I completely got distracted by the fact that it had leaked, that it actually is a pen. 
like it's a little pen and I actually got a little itty bitty thing comes with it to like unclog it, I think if you need to. So you can be more precise. I know my cuticles are super crusty by the way. Let's add and squeeze. Ooh, is that coming out? I might need to like really, okay. I'm squeezing so hard but it's not coming out. Look at that, you see? I feel like it's gonna explode if I squeeze it. Okay, so I don't know if that works. Oh, I got a drop, I got a drop. It is very precise, but I don't know if I wanna squeeze this hard every time to get a drop out. And ghosty. How cute! That is so cute. And I'm gonna do it on the thumb as well. <sighs> All right, I've gotta use the brush on this because there's no way. Look at how cute that ghost is. So I feel like the only reason I would wanna use that little pen is to fill like a little itty bitty gap like that. So that's what I'm gonna to try to do with it. You can like inject gel underneath. In that case, it's useful. I don't know if I'd use it at all for like rhinestones or anything though, cause it's a little painful to do. Now I'm gonna cure these and I'm going to do one final top coat just for everything and the little tips. And I actually think that this set is my favorite of the two, which I was not expecting. It's just like so simple, but really cute. Making sure that I get all around that little sticker, otherwise that will peel up pretty easily. And those are the sets from Trying Daily Charm. I actually really liked so much of this. I'm gonna have to go back and probably get a lot more like stationary utility type stuff because it's all so cute. And I really actually liked the charms probably the most. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a like if you liked it. It helps me out a lot and I really appreciate it. Don't forget to check out my community tag if you're seeing this within a couple days of me posting it for this year's Subscribers Draw My Nails Halloween edition. But if you're seeing this after that, don't worry because there are still going to be like winter and holiday editions throughout the rest of this year. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will hopefully see you next time. Bye.